Hello everyone, a quick video today to... Uh, <laughs> Jeez. Hello everyone, a quick video today to show you my latest purchase, a set of Max Tracks. And uh, that is going to go in my recovery gear equipment uh, kit. Let's take a look at it. So if you are not familiar with uh, Max Tracks, those are recovery boards, uh, recovery tracks that you use when you are stuck in mud, snow uh, or sand. Uh, and the, you put them underneath your tires and they give you traction, uh, help you get some traction to get out of your uh, situation. And uh, I could definitely have used uh, these boards uh, during my last trip when I got uh, stuck on the, in uh, Nevada in the, on the hill in the deep sand. And uh, also a few days later, I got, uh, also had the trouble to go uh, over some uh, very slippery rocks. So I could have uh, used them for sure. Um, so they are made out of plastic, pretty some really tough, but also flexible plastic. And as you can see, they have a bunch of knobs uh, on the, the whole length uh, of the of the boards, uh, th three row uh, of uh, of knobs. And that's you know when you put them on the t underneath your tires, the, that's what helps you get uh, some traction. Also, on the other side, there are also a bunch of uh, of knobs as well here those little cross if you go like sideways they're sticking out so they would dig in the uh, in the sand or in the mud and and they would stay in, stay in place so in the back of the um, of the sticker here it says that I can take this board and wrap them around uh, 33 inch tire and they would go back to their original shape and they would not break. So my tires are 33 inch. So just picture this, right? To imagine that uh, I wrap around the board here on my tire and it would not break and it would go back to the original shape. So that's pretty, uh, pretty impressive. Uh, here on the picture, you can see how they are, how they are used. You know, just stick them on the tire um, and then just drive over them. Uh, there's a bunch of uh, uh, video on YouTube you can check what people, you know, testing them and uh, and what how they can uh, different ways they they use them. So pretty happy with this uh, purchase. Uh, thank you, Dad. That was a gift a gift for my dad. So thank you. And I think I know where I'm going to mount them, and I will show you that in a minute. So as you can imagine, there are many different ways you could mount those Max tracks uh, on your on your Jeep or on your car. Uh, they sell some uh, mounting um, bracket that you can use uh, another way, uh, and that's what I was thinking about doing. Like uh, my friend Crystal did on her on her Jeep, is to slide them um, uh, behind their uh, treasure bag here, and it looks pretty cool, and it, and it works. Uh, my friend Joel has a set or two sets actually. That he puts on the, he has like a roof rack basket, and he just uh, zip tie them or attach them to the to the side here. Um, so me, what I decided to do uh, first, I was going to put them behind the trash arrow, uh, but there are a few things that I don't don't really like uh, with this. First, they're 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 right there, you can see them, uh, and then when you open the door, I'm afraid it was it will uh, hit uh, my uh, the the tube here, or I will not be able to open the door. Um, completely um, so what I decided to do is to put them on my uh, roof rack structure here um, so you don't see that now but uh, um, if I look from the side they are like those three crossbar here uh, so the three crossbar they were pretty much uh, you know uh, uh, spaced the same way it was like a symmetrical um, but what I had to do is uh, take the center one and also the rear one and just shift them back a little bit um, so that I don't know if you can see or maybe better from here but there's a little um, recess area here you know it's like a um, little 
voltage or value, I don't know what you want to call it. Um, so mm, what I did is so move those two um, crossbar here, right? And then I'm just going to zip tie the max tracks uh, like underneath the uh, those two uh, crossbar. Uh, so I'm hoping that uh, it will not uh, catch any wind like uh, it's so far back and I'm not going to get some uh, whistling noise or some uh, weird wind noise uh, in, in the back here. Um, and also when they are up there it's you, you can't it's not as obvious you can't really see them uh, unless you you pay attention and they are black so um, it, it kind of um, uh, blend blends in so let me attach them and on top now and I will uh, I'll, I'll show you how it's gonna look like yes and also to attach the the crossbar here uh, to move them at different location I had to drill the, um, the the roof rack tubes here so I had to drill four holes and that was uh, a fun little project try to go straight uh, but it it worked so they are mounted and zip tie to the, uh, to the roof rack here so this is how it looks like there's a little gap here uh, between the uh, roof rack and the, uh, the the soft top but you can see from the from the rear you can hardly see the uh, you can hardly see them I mean you can but it's not like the the orange one or the yellow or yellow one that you can see uh, miles miles away so um, so I like that uh, I will probably give it a try on the on the highway see if I get any uh, wind noise out of it but uh, yeah they're not gonna go anywhere I put uh, one, two, three, six uh, zip tie, uh, three on the rear, three in the rear, and uh, three in the front. And also, uh, I also put some zip, zip ties here to attach the, uh, the two max tracks uh, together. So, yeah, pretty happy, pretty happy with the, this uh, this setup here. And I can still use, and I was also one of the requirement here, but I, I could still use my. Uh, my awning uh, that, that goes here on the side and I'll have a, a video on that uh, maybe maybe this weekend but uh, I have a tarp that goes over it so uh, that's still gonna work and uh, I don't think the the knobs are gonna are gonna be are going to be a problem with the uh, with the tarp for my awning so yeah so far so good okay let's go for a test drive So yeah, doing some uh, noise test on the Jeep, it's kind of dumb, I mean, Jeeps are pretty noisy, at least the old ones, I get wind noise anyway, I get the soft top noise, I get the, uh, the roof rack tube noise, I get the engine noise, you get exhaust noise, so why am I worried about the potential wind noise from my Max tracks? for 
today a quick video on my uh, new set of max trucks uh, hopefully I will I won't have to use them but it's uh, always good to have I know I would have uh, already used them in my last trip so we'll see on the, my upcoming trip in uh, 14 days as of today so a few more projects I need to finish and uh, then I'll be uh, Thank you all for watching and if you have any comments or questions leave them in the uh, below in the comment section below and until next time I think it's another G, a YJ. Until next time uh,